Hello, it's your host, Raytheus. And we're back with Super Continent Limited. And, uh, gotta see how far this rabbit hole goes, as Morpheus would say. So, um, I'm gonna call Vega here, since we got some new information. What info can you find on Clyde? Super Continent Limited Clyde? I don't need to do a search for that. He's pretty famous. Oh yeah, I don't have the pleasure. Clyde Doommaker, or Doommaker, 45 Enforcer. He's some sort of hack of all trades. Hitman, transporter, cleaner, and a demolitions expert. Sounds like a good friend to count with. Yeah, but be careful with him. He's really short-tempered. Gotcha. What about the Vomod data? I'm sorry, Clyde is a ghost for the system. He doesn't have any medical records to hack. You'll have to do without impersonating him. Hmm, okay, thank you. You need anything? He's famous, but I have no data to hack him. That's crazy. That'll be all. So we have... We do have his number though. Why isn't it on my phone book? Oh wait, yeah it is. So six seven seven six two three. Call up my enforcer. Hey. Hi Clyde. I'm Adrian. About the bombs. When are you going to detonate them? You tell me. We've been waiting for you to send us the codes for ages. <laughs> what happened to your homeland line? Our home line? Weren't you supposed to be there? It broke down. I came to the office as soon as I could when I found out. Oh good. Give me the codes. Give me codes. Oh shit. I don't have the game shark codes. I'm very, very sorry. I completely forgot about them. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? We're in the middle of shitstorm here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm having a terrible night. My wife has been kidnapped. Are you serious? Man, I didn't do my fucking job correctly. <laughs> I don't want to sound insensitive, pay the ransom, or whatever, but we need the fucking codes. <laughs> Shit, Clyde. You are heartless. Okay, where are the codes supposed to be? I swear, I'm gonna punch you on the face when this is over. <laughs> The codes are on your phone safe lock in your office. How do I access it? Listen, Adrian. I can't have you losing your mind here. Not to not. Input your fucking code in the very phone you're using to speak with me. And what was the code? I cannot fucking believe it, Adrian. How should I know? Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll ask Francis and see. You're going to pay for this. Call me as soon as you get the fucking codes. <laughs> um, I think I need to call Vega. Do you know what a phone safe lock is? Nope, sorry, but Supercontinent CTO may surely know. You're right, thanks. You need anything? That'd be a uh, CTO. Who is the CTO? Barbara? Okay, so he did disconnect it. That's a good bitch. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I don't have to worry about Ferguson's home anymore. Maybe if I call Clyde as Barbara? How's CSJ going? Fucking wrong. Brian was killed. <laughs> it can't be how. Listen, I'm expecting important calls. Focus on your mission. Goodbye. Hmm. Unknown girl. Oh shit, wrong number. Eep. Hello, Barbara. This is the voice of your conscience. What the fuck? Tell me all your secrets and I'll let you sleep at night. I don't know what kind of trick this is. You fucked up super continent, psychos. But it won't work. You have until midnight. Click. <laughs> well, the only other place I can call is a tech office. So do I have to call Vega again? Oh. So let's call the tech line as Barbara. Thank you for calling Walmart. No joke. <laughs> Have my director call. Francis speaking. Who's this? Hello, Francis. Hey, Barbara. Any news on those Centauro assholes? He doesn't know about Barbara kidnapping Adrian's wife. Hmm. I better keep that way until I need to kick the hornet's nest. Centauro. Well, I gotta admit, they're giving me a hard time. Don't give up. If you manage to plant the neural disruptor I gave you, closer than 100 meters of their hideout, we'll owe them. We'll own them. But does it have to be tonight? What about CSJ? Other enforcers dealing with that. You focus on those hackers. They'll endanger CSJ if we let them. What about Proxima? Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing you a favor, trust me. Those Proxima losers have too many ties with the police. It'll be busy after the bombs go off. Yeah, about those bombs. Listen, Barbara. With all due respect, go back to work. But don't call me until you've finished your assignment. Okay, now I think... Well, I thought we unlocked somebody else. Guess we didn't. So I do have to call the tech line, but maybe not as her. I need access to my phone safe lock. Sure, just input the code on your phone. See, the thing is that I forgot the code and I need to get it. The detonation codes. Damn it, Adrian, what's wrong with you tonight? I'm sorry. The thing is that I don't have the code either. But I do have the security question. I made you record 
to retrieve it. Who's being extra cautious now, huh, Adrian? All right, all right, Francis, you were right. What was the question then? Here we go. The year of the first Rio Olympics fall by my wife's date of birth. When well, was your wife born? Not my wife, yours, dumbass. Ha ha ha, I was kidding. You got it then? Yes, thank you. Oh, but who do I call for that? Do I call Clyde? Assuming I call the right number. Clyde's got to tell me when my wife's birthday is. Her Brian died. Are you okay? Listen, fucking detective. Yoshida is hunting us down. Detective Yoshida? You're the head of city police homicide division. Man's a fucking psycho. He's gone vigilante and is tracking us down with optical camo and laser guns. <laughs> and yeah, he's gunned down Brian. Brian the enforcer? Leave a faith here. <laughs> Yeah, Brian, fucking enforcer, Balzac. <laughs> Listen, I want to want to do us all a favor. Seeing this night is getting more dangerous than we expected. Give me your data and Brian's data so I can try to pull off a of your crazy trick <laughs> and get you a life's insurance for your families and the company. You serious? Cool down, acknowledge this is for the best in case something happens. This will also cover injuries, so if you don't die, you may reap some juicy benefits. Think of Brian's family, too. Full names, age, and medical date of birth ID. All right. Claude. Dumbass, 45, but don't have a DBID. Okay. I'll sort out the medical D D B I D thing. And Brian Balsack twenty five. Don't know his medical date of birth identification. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'll get back to you as soon as I get an update on the mission. You better, Adrian. About the bombs. I still didn't find the codes. <laughs> Okay, now. Well, I should have enough data in the first thing now. Weird, I could have sworn. Maybe I call the tech office again? Tech office. Ah, oh, shit. I have to use this freaking old ass fossil phone. <laughs> oh, shit. Just in the call with them. Best secretary ever. <laughs> oh, I did it again. It's like I'm pranking him. Okay. You're good. Oh wait, I already did that. Uh, I can't do Clyde.
Um, so what was I doing? The tech office? Try that tech office. It's Barbara. Hey Barbara, I still don't get a signal from the neural disruptor. Yeah, I just wanted to go back to work. <laughs> I don't think there's any numbers I'm missing. It does seem like a piece of the puzzle is out of the... Okay, now we're stuck again. Unless we call back the tech office. Or the unknown girl. Is Adrian. I guess we call back the tech office. Oh, wait. No wait, that's right. Or maybe not. sucks when you already have information that it, you still receive it. I almost have it sorted out. Francis and the rest are almost convinced. Here we go. But before proceeding any further, I want to make sure this is it. All worthy. Is my wife okay? As long as you meet your end of the deal, yes. And he's sure. Can I ask her something? What is it? I want her to tell me her birth date. She'll know. Her birth date? Please, this is important. Ah, oh Christ. Okay, give me a second. 2nd of November of 2075. All right. Hopefully I don't have to enter that in because I'm not going to remember that. So I call the tech office. Doom, 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 doom. Hello, I remember my wife's birthday now. Oh, I thought it was a tech office. Maybe I just call it as myself.
come from the city central phone system? I call you to confirm that you're aware of the 900,000 credits fine applied to landline owners who haven't properly canceled their account? What? Are you telling me this now, you bloodsuckers? Piece of shit? You already charged us enough for this obsolete communication system. Come down, sir. I'm calling you to check if you're willing to fill a voice form to properly cancel the line and, of course, avoid the fine. You bet. What do I need to do? It's easy. Just answer a few questions to fill the form with your personal data. And that'll be all. For God's sake. All right, go ahead. Full name? Francis Cocaine. Cocaine net. <laughs> Age? 30 years old. I found him. I'm updating the database. I'm hacking in. Company? Supercontinent Limited. Full name of the CEO of the company? Ra- Way- Why do you need all this data? I might have pushed you too much time to bail. Don't worry, sir. I'll look it up. Thanks for your cooperation. Wait. <laughs> ah ha ha, I got somebody else. All oh, insufficient data to impersonate the- Okay, but I got to call Vega, right? No. That I have to call Vega. I have to call the tech office, right? Is Barbara? I guess not. Maybe if I call the unknown again. Nope. I guess not. Maybe if I call Clyde. I had the wrong number. Yeah. Good night, sir. I'm calling from. I don't know you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, tech office? Maybe if I call her one more time. <laughs> She's confused because I asked her her date again, but.
Okay, so it's still off. So, do I call the tech off this? I think something messed up here because this when I had to call the tech office for the for the numbers. I don't know why this is such an important thing either. Call Clyde and Adrian, maybe. Hmm. Okay, one more number here. Looks like that'll be it for this episode until I research a little farther and see what else we can uncover. Till next time, take care.